all right welcome back guys so let's take a look at the next component but um okay i'll just open up my and i think i can close up youtube okay all right so what do we have next after our video so we have the button component so let me click on button and yeah so this is what the button component looks like so basically what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy this button component and let's go back to our code editor and of course first off let's add a comment here so i'll just do control and forward slash and i'll say button sorry video component so video okay so next i'm going to create a button component but um instead of you know putting the button component up top so we have so much i can actually just add the button component to this guy here at the bottom okay so i'll just come down here and i'll say card text and image so i'll say card text button and image component okay so basically what i'm going to do is just below the image i'm going to add the button so this is the image right here so you see the girl.jpg i'll come down here and i'll paste in the button component okay and i'll save so let's let that reload and let's take a look so we're going to have to scroll down this time and as you can see we have this button that says go to page okay so now let's analyze the button so this is the button here and as you can see inside of the opening tag we have some things here so the first is color primary okay and that's actually the color of the button okay we're going to have a special lecture where we talk about all the color values okay so we've seen color dark and now we are seeing color primary and apparently this is what the color primary looks like i think this is a blue all right so also we have this router link and it's set to forward slash page name okay and then the text for the button is go to page and then we have the closing tag so supposing we wanted this button to link to another page all we just need to do is to specify that page here so we are going to do that right away so i'm going to come to my file explorer here and i'll click on it okay so let's um see the pages we created earlier so this is the pages folder i'll click on it to have it open so you see we have about and contacts so let's for example if we wanted this button to take us to the about page let me show you how we do that okay so in this router link all we just need to do is to say about here the name of the page okay so i'm going to come here i'll delete this page name okay and then i'll say about sorry that should be small letter so about and then i'll save okay so let it reload and remember we've not added anything inside the about page so it's very like very dry so let me scroll down and close this up and then i'll click on go to page and i expect that it will take me to the about page so let's try that whoa so you see it takes us to the about page now remember that we've not added anything in the about page the about page is blank okay it just has the title here that's why we have this um just empty page okay so but the most important thing is that we've seen how we can you know go from one page to another by clicking on a button okay so i'm going to go back just by clicking this backward um arrow on my chrome browser or i can simply just refresh the page and it will reload from the home page okay so there is one more thing i want to show you and that is how to make the button span from the beginning of this card to the end of the card so let's go to our ionic toolkits and where are we so this is the button right so you see button style attributes this attribute expand equals to block makes the button full width so it makes it occupy the full width of the container okay and then we've actually seen router link where we can navigate to another page okay and of course we've seen color primary um now let me get this expand block to make the button full width and remember that 
we add attributes to our opening tag so i'm just going to copy this so be very careful when you are copying this stuff so you copy everything i'll right click and i'll copy and let's just go back to our code and inside of the opening tag so this is the opening tag i'm just going to come after the router link i'll give a space and i'll paste in the expand which was which is set to block and then i'll save so let's give it some few seconds to reload okay and as you can see here we have a full width button okay and it's still going to take us to the about page so if i click on it it will take us to the about page okay so let me just press this button to come back here all right so basically that's it for the button components all right thank you so much and let's go to the next component